What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Mode's Film Session. And today, yeah, we got to talk to Sean Elliott, the safety acquisition that we picked up in free agency. Now, obviously, we're familiar with him from when he played with the Ravens, but, you know, he's been definitely upgraded in... Uh, yeah, now that he's coming to us, time to talk about him a little bit more from his time in Miami. So the game we're going to be breaking down today is his performance in the wild card game against the Kansas City Chiefs, where it was like, you know, frostbite weather and all that other crazy stuff out there. But you see a lot of things from him on tape, man. Number one, production. Number two, smarts. And number three, man, this is a guy that just plays the game the right way. All right. So. Y'all hit that like button on the front end. Don't forget to subscribe. It's time to turn on this tape and let's get after it, baby. All right, so first play we're gonna get a chance to see from Deshaun is him playing against the run. Um, on this play right here, man, always say playing safety is probably fun up until these type of plays happen and now you gotta go get this thing on the ground, okay? But just watching it, man. Go make me a play. Yep, that ball spit. Go get it on the ground. I don't care how you do it. Go get him down, baby. Go get him down. Okay? So for Deshaun right here, man, they're playing cover three defensively for the Miami Dolphins. And that's the big reason why, for him, he's walking into the box right here. Because that's a deep third, deep third, deep third defenders. Okay? Then from there, curl flat. He's a weak hook hook and that'd be your other curl flat defender over here so that's what they're doing defensively so that's why Deshaun is already starting to creep down into the box now from a run fit standpoint it's even crazier for him because that motion changed a lot so now he's the free defender initially with that tight end over here he was gonna have to play this as being what we call uh oh no he wouldn't have the force no, yeah, he would have. No, 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 he wouldn't have the force. Four would, uh, would have been the one setting edge, and he would have been fitting inside of this tight end, potentially, okay? But with this tight end doing the yo-yo or that type of motion and stuff like that, now he's back front side, okay? So for his fit, should be Ingram on the outside, B gap, A, backside B, boom, he's front side A, and he would be fitting in between the tackle and the tight end, which we call the C-gap, all right? So that's initially Deshaun's run fit. But now the play starts and two things happen. You get pulled by 62 and you get tight end going away. Those are two additional gaps. So now for Deshaun, he is no longer on the backside because there's no need, okay? Those two guys left. Deshaun has to get to the front side of this play now, okay? So, as you see, the front side blockers pick up, extra defenders, right? Deshaun on the back side is the extra guy, but this is why he had to get over top because there is nobody over here that is unblocked. He is the unblocked defender. So he has to know to slide over, which he is doing, okay? Because as you see, that's a hat on the hat. That turns to a block. And that's your nearest guy back here. So this is Deshaun's play to make now, okay? But watch him shuffle, stay square. He essentially has to play linebacker now. That's what this becomes. Not all safeties want to do this, okay? Shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, get on the train track, baby. Get him down. It sucks. It's not the most fun part of your job. And that's why not all safeties want to do this. That's what we say, man. You got to have a middle field safety and you need a box safety. You see what he's on, though. He's not tripping. He's a willing participant with this part of the game. And that's the part that I love to see, man. Understanding where his fit is from a run gap standpoint. And then from there, getting in position, doing the dirty work. Put your face in the fan, man. Don't take no weirdo angle either. You know, some of the people take them weird angles. Oh, man, I ain't see him, coach. He uh, accidentally overran that thing. No, man, don't get weird on me. It's playoffs. It's cold. It's going to hurt. It sucks. But go do what you do, man. Go do what you do. All right, so now we got Deshaun once again in that cover three 
being the box safety type look, all right? So when we talk about it, single high, it's your middle third, or yeah, middle third, D third, D third, all right? Then in terms of the coverage, curl flat, hook, hook, and then Deshaun is curl flat to the front side, all right? But as we play it, getting down pass, screen type work, we ain't tripping on it though, right? We don't trip on that. So let's talk about it, man. So with the three by one look to the front side, and Max, Max, let me get you, let me show you the three by one, right? Let's coach up the three by one real quick, okay? All three by one is this. One, two, three receivers to the front side, one guy on the back side. Now Pacheco was here, okay? But by him flipping to here, now it becomes what we call four strong all right and now that means we got to drop something or one of these guys have to come over and give us some extra help on the back side because we're going to be short a defender from a cover standpoint all right just little tricks of the trade in terms of how offenses try to stress out some of these zone concepts and defenders okay so it becomes four by one and you get run fake back, and this is, man, shout out to Andy Reid. He's going to do everything to make you check your assignments, detail your work, and have your eyes in the right position, right? Three by one, back offset, weak. Then he flips strong to make it four by one. Then you get run fake at you. Then you get now pass to the front side like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. But all of this is done to create this look right here. The Chiefs wanted to get two on one on the perimeter. Or excuse me, uh, three on two on the perimeter, but hat on a hat over here. And now you got essentially Travis Kelsey, and you're trying to get him one on one. All right. Now Ingram does a good job of chasing inside out, but the Chiefs got the look that they're looking for. So now these two guys, it's all about want to, man. Can you get off this block? And do you want to get off this block? Some dudes don't want to get off the block now, all right? But watch Deshaun. Hat and hands, easy work easy work you saw that hat and hands easy work make a tackle production right get that ball on the ground it's not always going to be perfect you know i was going to be the free defender you know i was going to be unblocked sometimes you got to actually put your hands on another grown man and move him out the way put your hands on another grown man and move him out the way and then just go you know tackle tackle taylor swift boo you know how that go but shout out to Deshaun right here, though, man. Shout out to him. Because once again, understanding the assignment and then the physical ability, that want to. Love it, love it, love it, baby. Love it. So, as you can see, man, when it's run game or even plays at the line of scrimmage and now passes, which are pseudo run plays, Deshaun is a willing participant in terms of being downhill, in terms of hat and hands, and more importantly, tackling the ball care. Doesn't matter if it's a running back like Isaiah Pacheco, the angry toddler, how he runs, we talked about him, right? Or if it's Travis Kelsey, who we know is a bigger body, smoother athlete, but yeah, doesn't matter, man. Go get him on the ground. That's Deshaun. Now, of course, though, as a safety, box safety or middle field guy, you still have to be able to cover. So here we are. Let's talk about some of that cover stuff, all right? Don't touch that dial, but more importantly, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Appreciate you greatly, all right? But let's tap in. All right, so now we get him. Turns to Deshaun playing that true cover three box safety once again. But now we're going to actually get a chance to see him have to, you know, read, react, run around a little bit, okay? Oh, righty, oh, righty. So, once again, just a refresher when we say cover three, D third, D third, D third, curl flat, that's your strong hook, we cut, curl flat. Or we say one, two, three, four underneath, one, two, three deep, okay? So, those are the different ways that you hear people refer to cover three, all right? Or, as my old defensive coordinator up in Buffalo, George Edwards would call it, good old country cover three, okay? So, with that being the case, though, for 
the Chiefs on offense, they're in 11 personnel, one running back, one tight end, and it's two by two, okay? Two by two meaning one, two, one, two eligible receivers, all right? But this is going to get a little tricky in the sense that it's going to go from two by two to four by one. Now, they do it post-snap, though, and that's the interesting part because post-snap, it does become four strong. One, two, three, four. So what that means is, and you can see Deshaun right here, he has his hands up. He's like, yo, 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 you got to come with me. That means this guy right here has to push through to get over everybody has to bump over additional men because this guy is the additional guy okay once again andy reach doing different things to test your rules out man so with that first one goes by we're not tripping but this technically is the second guy through the zone so with that being the case it's a curl flat defender and this doesn't matter if you're in the miami dolphins defense or if you're in the pittsburgh Steelers defense or any defense is running cover three when that second guy comes through your zone, you have to run with him. Because the first guy is taking the top defender. He's gone, right? So when that second guy comes through the zone on that wheel, if you don't run, that is wide open, okay? Wide open. But Deshaun understands that. He understands four strong. He understands two through the zone. And now you see him maintain vertical leverage and carrying that thing up the field in position. Mahomes does a good job because Mahomes is patient, you know, high level quarterback. So he obviously finds his way to work it back to the check down. But this is some stuff right here. Four strong off of the fast jet motion. Yeah, they playing rule check over there. They trying to see what your rules look like. Are you disciplined or not? I mean, we get it. This is why Andy Reid is Andy Reid. This is why his offenses are his offenses and why Patrick Mahomes operates the way that Patrick Mahomes operates. But you see how they're trying to attack it, man. Test, te uh, testing that, but you got safety on the middle, so we're protected there, okay? Next up, let's see the second option, the deep wheel, okay? Safety's in position for that. All right, cool, he's looking that up. Next up, let's check the running back, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Man, he has two guys with eyes on him in close proximity. Not what you want to do unless you don't care about this guy because you can set him up. You can throw it to him. We call them hospital balls. And the NFL will probably, you know, punish the DBs, the linebackers on that, even though it would be an asinine throw. But that's neither here nor there. So from there, Mahomes gets all the way back to that option right there. Kind of crazy, man. Kind of crazy. But that's why Mahomes is Mahomes. But in terms of Deshaun, excellent job doing what he's supposed to do, staying on top of the route. Beautiful work right there by him, man. Beautiful job. All right, now this final play just shows Deshaun and a man-to-man -man concept, all right? Now, he's man-to-man -man on Travis Kelsey. They didn't do a ton of this, but when they did, he did hold up enough. You know, but obviously this is Travis Kelsey. So I'm not even about to act like he was locking that up because we all know this Travis Kelsey. He's different. OK, but just in terms of watching him move in a man to man concept, thought that he did a good job, man, on this specific play right here. OK. It's never easy when you are guarding a Travis Kelsey, because like I said, man, this big dude can move, man, understands how to set you up from a route standpoint. I mean, y'all know who he is, so yeah. But the thing that I like for Deshaun is this, man. You're going to take on that challenge, man. Take on that challenge, all right? So we got a little bit of an off-coverage alignment, but it's condensed red zone, so he knows the vertical threat isn't as prevalent. So you can kind of get away with this, right? But he's patient off of it. I like the fact that he's keeping his feet hot. He's not just sitting here and allowing Travis to kind of run. He's playing who's the better athlete because Travis Kelsey... Nine times out of ten would be the better athlete, right? It's Travis Kelsey. But the thing is this, man. Competitive where he needs to be competitive. He's in position right now. And he basically said, man, any out or in breaking route, I'm going to be flat footed and I'm going to make sure that I make that initial break. And that's ultimately why you see Mahomes kind of hold it, right? But then from there, now he has to plaster. And this is the part where it could have got weird, but I do like the fact that the catch was made, but it wasn't on his guy, right? 
But more importantly, man, just seeing them move, seeing them understand what the assignment is and saying, hey, if I got to take something away, let me figure out what can I take away real quick, man. Okay. But that's not an easy assignment, especially in this part of the field. Everybody knows who primary target one is, man. But shoot, did what you need to do right here. Because Mahomes was definitely eyeing him. <laughs> he definitely wanted him. Just wasn't open. Shout out to Deshaun, man. Shout out to Deshaun. But yeah, that's definitely, we know that. We know that combo. Yep, but do what you need to do. Don't allow to catch. And that's what we like to see right there, baby. So, you know, that's the thing um, with Deshaun. You don't really get a ton of man-to-man -man from him. To me, man, I think he's really, really good in a lot of them zone concepts, man. But he's a guy that can give you the versatility, man. When you talk about that flexibility to be in the box, to play in the post, has good size, good range, and his physical will tackle you. This is what we want to see, man. And when we talk about pairing him with the Minka Fitzpatrick, you can just see how their games will complement each other and ultimately free up Minka to do that Minka stuff that we like. You know how we feel about that Minka stuff, all right? But um, let me know your thoughts on Deshaun Elliott. Obviously, that was him right there in the playoff game, wild card versus the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And um, yeah, man, the production was once again there. And that's the one part that I do like about this move. He is productive, all right? But uh, like I said, let me know your thoughts on him and um, what you expect to see from him this upcoming season. But either way, you know I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.